Hey, this is Sterling with Balls of Steel Pinball League here in Southeast Georgia. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of James Bond Pro by uh, Stern Pinball. I picked this up from uh, Will at Old Town Pinball in St. Augustine, Florida. If you need a new unbox game or even a used game, hit Will up. Uh, I'll post uh, a link to his uh, website uh, in the description. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly unbox a new game and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So first you want to go ahead and cut these two straps. Next I like to open up the top. There's going to be some packaging up top. So I'll pull the foam out from each side. Also your legs are going to be in these long cardboard sleeves. They're going to try to fall out, which they did. We'll probably just leave those in there for the time being. I'll get those in a minute. Uh, as next, what we're going to want to do is cut down both sides of the box cut all the way to the edge because you don't want to cut on uh, your machine. And don't cut in at an angle because you don't want to hit the side art or anything. You might want to kind of check. I've opened quite a few of these now so pretty used to it. And also, the side of the uh, box you're going to want to do all this on is going to say truck this side only. Uh, this is the bottom of the cab. And that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and pull these legs out. And I'd recommend actually leaving the legs in that cardboard sleeve until you get to this point because you could damage the side of your machine. The big thing is, don't ever cut this strap until you have the machine sitting on all four legs. So next, we're just going to kind of walk it out on this top of this piece of cardboard here. Just like that. All right. I think it looks good. You know, there's a lot of people complaining about it, but I mean, it looks like old school James Bond to me. And uh, all the posters on the other side don't look that bad to me either. Uh, it is slightly pixelated, I could say. Well, actually, not really. It's just the way it was drawn, and they just touched it up. But uh, let's get some of this moved out the way, and we'll get it up on its legs. All right, so now we got that box out of the way. I do leave the cardboard underneath the machine. They leave these bolts in the machine when they ship it. It will scratch your floor up, so you might want to leave it on top of the cardboard. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to remove these bolts. Uh, I use electric ratchet. I'm not telling you to use an electric ratchet. It's just what I use. You could potentially strip it out. Okay. Now we're going to put on the front legs. With the front legs, I like to keep the levelers all the way down, which is the way they come. So we're going to leave them just like that.
thread can be a little funky at first. Don't ever tighten these bolts. Just get them snug. That's why I'm doing the rest of it by hand. You can strip these leg plates with the bolts out pretty easily. And there are directions on top of here. I pretty much tell you 90% of what I'm doing now. So this is the run of bond uh, that they just ran in late January of uh, 23. So it's the first of uh, homeowners. All right, now we're just going to sit it down just like that. Uh, at this point, I'm probably going to try to get this cardboard out of here if I can without hurting myself. It is smart to do any of this lifting part with a friend. Okay, so I got someone to help me lift it up and sit it on a stool here. Uh, this is probably the easiest way to do it. I wouldn't recommend using a hydraulic stool like this, but anyway. What I have laying around. So the rear legs, I've raised the levelers up uh, almost halfway, a little bit shorter than halfway. That's roughly where it's going to need to be. Uh, ideally, you want your play field angle at about six and a half degrees. If you use an angle finder to figure that out, make sure the glass is off. You cannot do the angle off of the glass. The angle finder needs to be sitting on the play field. Now, if you don't have an angle finder, there is a, uh, a level with a bubble in it uh, to the right of your play field near the apron. You can look at that and you can roughly put that bubble in the center and that will be ballpark where it needs to be, but not necessarily uh, a perfect setup for that. Alright, so now we got it on all four legs. Now at this point we can go ahead and cut that green strap everyone likes to cut and remove any of this paperwork. I do like to keep all this paperwork just uh, if you ever sell the game it's nice to have everything that the game originally came with I think. All right, we're gonna cut that green strap. It will fly off crazy sometimes, like that. Just make sure I still got everything in frame. Yep, we're good. All right, we'll go ahead and start standing the head up. Make sure this cable is feeding in this hole uh, neatly. Sometimes it will want to crunch it. And be very careful not to knock this head down until you get the bolts in the back to secure it. And uh, so what we'll need to do is there's keys right here on the shooter knob. So we will get those keys. Probably hear my dog walking around. All right, so put the keys to the back box and the keys to the coin door here. So one set of keys will fit this door. And we will we'll get this coin box out of here. 
this coin box is going to have our balls as well as our power cable and the two bolts needed to hold that head in place. When you go to remove this coin box, there is a, uh, what would you call that? Not a carter pin, but anyway, you got to pull that out in order for it to release the uh, coin box out. So we'll have two bolts here, two washers. We'll place these in the two holes on the back. You'll see uh, uh, two big black arrows on a yellow label pointing at it. These don't need to be over tightened. They do need to be snug. Uh, it's more of a placeholder. I put the legs a lot snugger and I'll make these ever. All right. That's pretty much uh, getting James Bond unboxed. Got crap everywhere. So here's uh, James Bond. Here's where those two bolts went in the back. There's a note in here. Uh, it's going to tell you to take the foam out uh, that is around the rocket. And also the foam that is around the car and that blue uh, saran wrap. There's some of the side art for you. And the same photo on the back box on the other side. And you got the Dr. No Trans Light. So uh, let me get this stuff out of here and I will get it powered up. Okay, we got the game booting up for the first time. Um, yep, and we're gonna go ahead and put it on free play. And I'll do the rest of it all later. Close that coin door. All right, we are ready to rock. Awesome James Bond no from the January 23 build. Everything looks to be perfect. Zero damage on the box or the game. Big shout out to Old Town Pinball in St. Augustine. Like I said, if you need a new Stern Pinball or American Pinball machine, give Will a call today. In my option, he's probably the best distributor out there. Alright, thanks for watching guys.